guess what? The Minimalists are going on tour with a live version of The Minimalists podcast. And I want to invite you to join us for a night of less. Find your nearest city at theminimalists.com slash tour. We'll see you there. Yeah. Let's talk about where we get the this concept of ob object A from. Oh, that's good. Yes, let's talk about that. Because I noticed something Nate said just as the at the beginning. He said that his partner had given uh, your documentary to him, showed your documentary to mm -hmm. him, and he really enjoyed it. This actually is a key to understanding how where we get object A from. Mm. Is the weird thing is we think our desires are our own. Mm. They're not. They're given to us by other people, and this is called mimetic desire. There's right. a guy called René Girard uh, who really does great work in this. But that what happens is when you're going out with somebody, because obviously your documentary is terrible, and so <laughs> nobody would actually like it directly, right? <laughs> but, I couldn't agree more, Pete. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but if someone else likes it, and I like them, I start to like it because they like it, yeah. right? This is mimetic desire. Mimetic desire is this weird thing where you start, say, going out with somebody and you start to like what they like. Yeah. You start to find yourself being into French cinema and long walks along the beach or whatever they're into. Right. And then weirdly, you start to think that they're your desires mm. and they, they're into certain bands and then you start to be into those bands. Mm. And then if you break up, you start to fight over who owns the CDs. <laughs> I mean, that's an old <laughs> reference now. I suppose you have Spotify. But um, the, interestingly, what I desire is the desire of ones I desire. So that's the most precious material in the world, right? It's not gold, it's not health. The, the most precious material in the world is the desire of the desire, no, the desire of the people I desire. You could tweet that podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so I, cause I desire the desire of those I desire. Mm -hmm. I want their desire. But also the second bit to that is I desire what they desire. Because I, I, if I see that what they desire, sometimes I want to kind of take the place of that. I want, I want the attention that they're giving the other thing. You imagine when you're a kid and you see your parents giving desire to something else and you kind of want to kind of get that desire. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's interesting, it's important to learn that because what René Girard says, he says the problem is this, right? Say, right, you're going out with somebody, mm -hmm. just to use the example of sexual desire. Mm -hmm. And I think you're cool. Uh, which is a hard thing for your listeners to imagine, but I think you're cool. <laughs> and, um, Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. My mom says the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then here's the crazy thing, right? I maybe start to desire who you desire. You mm. say, I really fancy this person. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, oh, and then I go like, I really kind of fancy them as well. Then what happens is we get into conflict mm. because although I've kind of taken the desire on because of you, I feel it's my own. And now we're in conflict with each other. Mm -hmm. And it causes lots of problems. And uh, and then we get into what's called scapegoating and we have to blame somebody else in order to kind of reconcile. Mm -hmm. So where does our desire come from? Here's the funny thing is your desire, you feel it's yours, whatever you desire, but actually it might be the desire of your mother, your father, your siblings, your friends. You're taking on all of these other people's desires. And here's then even more complicated. Sometimes you don't desire your desire. Sometimes you end up in a job that you kind of hate, but you kind of choose. Mm -hmm. And so you, you obviously choose it freely because that's what you wanted to do, but you also hate it. And then you discover that, oh my goodness, I'm fulfilling the desire of my parents or I'm desire, I, you know, this is the weird thing about being human is we can not desire what we desire. And it gets yeah. very complicated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>